Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to more Ark Survival Evolved, building with Stevie. Guys, as always, I really hope you're having a great day today, and thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. So guys, before we kick it off, I thought I would come and join the centre map. It's been a long, long time since we've been on the centre map. Uh, I believe Season 1 of our Dodo Loco Let's Play. Uh, that will be in the description down below, guys, if you want to go back to the beginning and check out Season 1 of my Let's Play. Uh, but in today's video, guys, I thought we could build this masterpiece. Now, you did see it in the intro to this video, which I really hope... You did enjoy. It was something different. Thought I'd change things up a little bit. Uh, but we're going to be building this awesome cabin. Um, I'm going to call it a cliffside cabin. Because obviously we are on the cliffside. Uh, but this location is really, really nice. You've got the snow biome in the front of you. You've got the mountains uh, around. You've got the centre. Are you surrounded by a swamp? And I'm uh, thirsty right there. Uh, so yeah, it looks really, really nice. Um, this is the location for anybody who wants to come and build here. We are at about 28, 28, or you know, close to 30, 30. That is where we are. We're in the snor uh, north snow biome for anybody who wants to come and build here. But bear in mind, guys, it is a dangerous place, and I've had to use a dino wipe uh, command to get rid of the rexes and the wolves that do spawn around this area. Uh, so today's build is inspired by a good buddy of mine and fellow arc builder, Unite the Clans, uh, because he done a... a building tutorial called log cabin 2 and if you haven't seen it guys i will put that in the description down below as well as utc's channel so be sure to go and uh sub to his channel and check out all of his builds he's amazing um but he flipped his wooden walls around uh in that build which made the whole build completely unique uh, so i've sort of took that idea and made it my own as you can see we've got the inside of the wooden walls on the outside so that is throughout the whole entire build uh, but we will get to all of that later on so i'm going to show you around you did see the exterior let's go inside so starting off from here we've got our decking area you know i thought i'd go for a little side entrance rather than a, a straightforward entrance it kind of just like adds a bit of difference to the build uh, you got your cooking pot on the outside a bit of storage and obviously the decking goes all the way around so if we go into the main entrance now then you've got all your like mortar and pestles, your crafting stations, like your smithy, fabricator, forges, and you've got these little sort of like escape routes to the side of the build. Uh, and we've got these little hallways as well where you can just, they're just alternate doors that you can just come out of. And if you want to go inside one, you can, it by all means. So, and this build actually has a second floor. We've got some hidden storage as well for those uh, artifacts or your weapons that you want to keep hidden away from people. Um, so we've got, like I said, a second floor. So let's go up and have a look. Uh, so I've just put storage around the place. You know, you can't, you guys can put whatever you want. It's totally up to you. Uh, but here we've got a little sort of like balcony kind of thing on the second floor. And then in here, we've just got a little bedroom with a bed and some more storage. Obviously, like, like I said, you guys can put whatever you want in here. I've just put all these in just to sort of like fill it up for the purpose of today's video. So this is what we are going to build, the cliffside cabin, I think is absolutely awesome. Uh, we are going to be building it out of stone and wood. Um, so on officials, it might be a bit hard to sort of build. Uh, but if obviously, if you're playing a single player or a dedicated server, um, like a private server, obviously with boosted stats, you're able to sort of achieve this pretty easy. Uh, so let me gather up a bunch of materials. Well, I've got materials. Let me spawn them all in, should I say. And then we're going to get on with today's build. Okay guys, as you can see from the hotbar, I have spawned a shitload of materials in for today's build. Uh, we're gonna be building right next to the original build because I need it for reference. It's been a while since I've built it and I can't remember off the top of my head how to build it. So you're gonna have to bear with me guys. I'm gonna have to keep using this uh, for reference. But also guys, use the environment that Ark provides for you. Wherever you choose, use the environment. Uh, what I mean is, where I've built here, I've kept this huge rock to the side of the build. Uh, the trees, I've not demolished the trees. I've kept the trees. I've built around them. Um, it just adds character to the build. You know, and being like a, a cabin, like a wooden cabin, cliffside cabin, the trees and the rocks just 
finish the look off. It makes it look a hundred times better than if it was just a standalone building in the middle of a super flat space. So use the environment, keep it all, try not to destroy it, and just build around it, guys. You know, it just it just makes the build look so much better. Um, so with the foundation, guys, I recommend using thatch because uh, we're going to be doing a six by seven. Uh, but we're not going to be using all the foundations, so we're going to be destroying a couple, which I will show you in a few seconds. Now, thank God it stopped raining. That is the most annoying thing in Ark ever, especially on the centre, because it rains so much. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be using wooden foundations, but you can go ahead and use stone, thatch, metal, totally up to you. And depends on what server you're playing on. If you're playing on official Building out of metal is going to take you a very long time. Um, so we're going to go six deep and seven long. So this is our base foundation. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And then we're going to go seven along. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what I'm going to do is go all the way around and then fill it in so you've got a giant rectangle. But then what I'm going to do is use the fly command and then I'm going to give you guys a bird's eye view as I've removed the foundations that I don't need. So you guys can have a better look so you can uh, you know, do it for yourself because I think showing you rather than explaining it is going to be a hell of a lot easier for you guys to understand. So just go ahead and make a 6x7 rectangle, fill it all in. And then I'll be back to show you what you guys should have next. Okay, guys, so this is what you should have. So after you've done your 6x7, just follow this pattern. So pause it, rewind it, keep playing the video. This is the pattern you should have for your build. So go ahead and just copy this pattern. Okay, so once you've got that, guys, uh, what we're going to be doing is building the front part of today's build. So the main sort of entrance to the build. We're going to be building that right now. Um, so what we're going to be using is stone fence foundations and stone pillars. Uh, you guys can use a wooden fence foundation, wooden pillars, and metal, and so on and so forth. It's totally up to you. But for the purpose of today's build, I'm going to be using stone. So from these two foundations that are sticking out right at the front, you're going to come in three. So you've got one, two, three. Uh, so this is the third one. So what you're going to get is your stone fence foundation and place it on the third foundation on the side like that. And then you're going to go two foundations over and then you're going to do exactly the same thing like that. This gives us the option now to place stone pillars on the corners of each foundation because if you didn't have a stone fence foundation or, or a fence foundation of any sort you would only be able to snap a pillar in the center of each foundation so this allows us to snap it on the sides of the foundations and in the corners so all you're going to do is get your stone pillars or your wooden pillars etc and place them on each corner like so so you're going to make a little mini rectangle using the stone fence foundation out of pillars now these four pillars are going to be too high each. So just go ahead and make them too high like so. And then you should have something looking like that. So we're going to finish off the front entrance as we speak. So I've got some walls and I've got some door frames and uh, stone, uh, window frames. Uh, but we're going to flip the wood around. So if we place a door frame, um, it should be flipped straight away. Depends which way you look at it. That was kind of like a bad example. Normally, if you put one down, it would face uh, it face that way. And that's the, that's the way we don't want it to face. So what I'm going to do is place another one down. But I'm going to flip it around so the dark wood is on the inside. And the light wood is on the outside. So you should have it looking like that. So let's go ahead and put in the window frames. So that should just snap in. Lovely. And then on top of that, we're just going to put window frames. So they should snap the correct way as well. And then these two sides here, we're going to do walls. Uh, but again, make sure that the wood is facing on the inside like that. Um, so we're going to do the same on this side. So make sure it snaps right. So that looks about right there. And then we're going to obviously put some more on the top like that. And then what we're going to do is get our little triangle pieces and put them on the top as well. So that is what you should have. Sort of like a little box sort of 
beginning of a box. So let's go and have a look on the outside. And that's what it should look like, guys. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to build this side of the house. So we're going to be building this little bit here and then this little section that sticks out at the front. So you're going to need your stone pillars again or your wooden pillars. Um, and we're going to be building from this side. So we're going to go in one. So we're going to use the rear stone pillar on here. And because we've got the snap point right there and we're only going to go one foundation over, I'm only going to need, I'm, I'm not going to need to use a stone fence foundation, sorry, uh, because I can just use a stone pillar because it's one foundation apart. I've got the snap point. So I'm going to do that. And that again is going to be too high. Uh, we are going to need to put some at the front as well. Uh, so from the front pillar, we're going to go one foundation over again. And we're going to put another one in. This time, that one's only going to be one high. And then we're going to come over again and we're going to put another one on the side, which is again one high. So you should have something looking like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put another wall here. So we need the wood to face on the inside like that. And then we're going to put a window here. Uh, so the wood should be facing that way. Nope. <laughs> Uh, so the wood should be fake. Oh, man. What is going on? Right, so let's get it right now. Then. So the wood should be facing that way. There we go. So now I'm going to do a Timmy Carbine style window. Now, what I mean by that is um, what he uses is a window frame for the bottom. But then he uses a door frame for the top, which sort of gives it like an extended window. And I just think it adds a lot more character to the build. And obviously, you're not going to see this. Well, you probably will now. But it just adds uniqueness to your build rather than sort of using just normal wooden windows like that it just looks a little bit different so that is what we're going to look like there here you're going to have your little triangle piece so let's put that in just there and then here we're going to have another wall so let's put another wall in so that we've got to flip it around so the wood's on the inside looking good looking good and then we're going to have another little triangle piece on top of that and I believe we're going to need to flip it around. No, it is that one. So there we go. That's what it should look like now, guys. Okay, so to finish it off, guys, on this side, to match it with the, like, the triangle sort of roof on there, um, obviously we've got no support here at the moment, so you're not going to be able to put anything sort of up there. It just won't let you. Um, so go ahead and put in a temporary door. Uh, so we've got a temporary door. And then you can just put a wall in. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be temp temporary. And then what you can do then is put your little triangle pieces on the top. So it should work just like that. So if we come outside, that is what you should have. So it's looking good. Now you can just go ahead and sort of finish this little bit off uh, by putting on a stone sloped roof. So let's just go ahead and put that on there. So that just sort of finishes that little bit off. And obviously we can go ahead and put in another door frame just here, making sure that it's flipped around. There we go. So that is that bit complete. Obviously you can remove these, but we're not going to remove them just yet because uh, there will be no support. That will just fall down at the top and we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is build this side next. So I'm just going to go and have a look at the other build for a reference and then we'll be straight back. Okay, so we're going to be building on the opposite side of the house now. This side is pretty much done apart from the roof area. Um, so you are going to need your stone pillars again. And from the rear pillar of the center of your build, you're going to come out one foundation to the right. And then you're going to place another pillar down. You're going to go another foundation to the right and place a second pillar down. This pillar is only going to be one high, but the middle pillar is going to be three high. So we've got two and three. So you can go ahead and you can go put a little door frame on this one. And then you can put a window frame on this one. So make sure that the wood is facing on the inside. Then you can go ahead and put your door frame on and then another window frame up there. Now, how we're going to get the uh, second half to go down here because... Obviously, if we can't put wall here because it will just block off the sort of entrance that we got going on. So you're going to need some ceilings. 
Um, so you want to come above the door frame right there. And then what you want to do is get your ceilings and start coming out. So you've got one ceiling there. And then you want to go across two, three, four. Making sure that they actually snap in place. Unlike that one. So let's get rid of this. That one didn't snap in where I wanted it to. So you've got to make sure that they snap in correctly. Uh, so that one should snap there. And then that one should snap there. Alright, so, and then you can go ahead and fill in this part as well. So one there, and then one there. So obviously we need to get up there. So I'm going to put a little ramp up, just so uh, we can get up to the top. All right, so, oh, 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 fell off the foundation there, didn't I? All right, so we're up the top now then. So the reason why I put two ceilings here is for the extra snap point. Uh, so if I go and put a wall in, which is what we're going to put here, obviously it will snap now, but if I didn't have this ceiling here, I would get the, this snap point. So as you can see, it wouldn't have snapped. So that's the idea of putting a ceiling here. We need it to snap to that. So let's go ahead and put this in. So it should snap just fine. There we go. And then what we're going to do is get our little triangle pieces again and then place them on the top. So now you can just get rid of this ceiling here. It doesn't really matter. You don't need it. This is going to stay exactly where it is. And then you can get rid of this one as well. So there we go. We've got rid of them too. We've got that going on. So let's go to the front of the build and have a look. Nice. So that is what you should have. So let's get rid of this ramp right here because we don't need it now. Okay, so we're going to need to go out here with the pillars. So as you can see from there, we've got one, two, three, four. So I'm not looking at this hut. I'm looking at this section here. So we've got the four pillars coming out. Uh, so we've already got the first one just here, which is three high. So we're going to come out one foundation to the right here. I'm going to put a, uh, a pillar in and then another pillar just there and then one at the end. So if we look over to there, you can see the two middle ones are four high. So two, three, four. Two, three, and four. And then the end one is three high. So that is looking good. And then with the outside one for your little hut just there, we're going to go over two foundations. So we've got one foundation, two foundation. And then all you're going to do is put in another pillar. Because we've got the snap point from this one, we're able to still carry on with the one foundation apart. So all we're going to do then is we've got your door frame here. We're going to put in a window just here. We're going to put in another door frame. And then we're going to put a wall on this side. Uh, so if I, fuck, fuck, uh, if I can find my walls and get my words out, there's a wall. And then we're going to put a wall here as well. Like that. So... That is what we should be having. And then obviously you're going to get your little triangle pieces again. And then you're going to put them on the top of these little pieces right there. So that's the side of your sort of build done. We're going to build up these walls now. So if we look at this over here. And it's just started raining again. Beautiful. Uh, so we've got a wall, window, door. So let's go and do that. So we've got a wall, window, door. Lovely. So I'm going to leave it at that for the minute. I'm going to go back and check the build and see where we are. So let me bring you up to speed, guys. Um, what I've done is I've had to put two ceilings in here. Uh, and what I've done is filled in the walls. So I've gone for window frames and door frames with a triangle on the top. Uh, so basically, I've just mirrored what is on the other build. So what I'm going to do is just stand here. So you guys can sort of pause the video and see how it should be looking. So it should be looking like that, guys. Uh, I've just gone and filled it in. And I've added a few more pillars on the inside as well, as well as a couple more walls. Um, and I'm going to show you on the other build what I mean. So if we come in here, so I've built in this bit here. So I've put in a, door, a window frame and a wall. And then I'll put the ceilings like I have here. On the inside of our little hut. Uh, and I put the two pillars on the inside. So I've got one there, one there. And then one pillar there. So this is going to be our staircase. So if we go back over to the other build. I'll show you very, very quickly. There's a little alcove that I've built. With a window frame and a wall. The pillar there. 
the pillar there and the pillar there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is we've got a temporary door here. Well, this is our door here. This is going to be for like our under stair storage. Um, so what I'm going to do is put in a little triangle piece just there like so. And then I'm going to use a sloped roof, a wooden sloped roof like that. And then uh, we're going to go like that. And then what I'm going to do, I think, is put in a, another ceiling like that. And then we're going to put another triangle piece on the top. So then we can put another sloped roof which would lead up to our upstairs part. Now here, what you can do is obviously put some more windows in here just to sort of fill this in like that. So let's put them in. I think we're gonna have to put that there because of how this is gonna go, I believe. Uh, let me just find out. So let's put that there. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. That is not gonna snap in, is it? Why is that not gonna snap in? Okay, so I managed to get it all to work. Um, so everything's in, so it's looking good. Uh, so we can put our little triangle pieces up here now. Uh, so that completes that side of the build. So let's come downstairs then. Uh, so now we're going to concentrate on this side. Uh, so you're going to need pillars on each of these little corners right here. Uh, so you are going to need a stone fence foundation, unfortunately. Uh, but you're only going to need to use one. Um, so we're going to put it in this back corner right here. And then you're going to put in your stone pillars. So one on that corner, one on this corner, and one just there. And I believe, uh, I believe we need the other one just there. Yeah, okay. So we've got, we're going to put one just there there as well and then we're going to bring this one in as well one so we're going to put another stone pillar on the inside so you got like a square of stone pillars um because then this is going to be like another little hallway that we can get in and out from um so we've got our ceiling on there so we should be able to remove this and then remove that and everything should stay on top let's hope yeah, it has. Yeah, so let's just go and check from the front. Yeah, that stayed all up. Okay, so here then, you can just go ahead and put a wall in. And then this is going to be your door frame. And then you can put in a window frame just here. And then a window frame just there. Yeah, you can also go ahead and put window frames in here as well, guys. Um, so let's just go ahead and put that one on. And then that one should snap in like that so we need to raise these pillars so let's just go over to this side and have a look how tall they should be uh, so you got that one's going to be three and four and then four and then four okay so let's go back so this one here is only going to be three so you got one two three this one's going to be four one two three four that one's going to be four And this one's going to be four. So I would imagine that this one is going to be four as well. We'll put it up to four for now. Let's go back upstairs. And now we should be able to fill in the rest of the ceiling. So I'm going to do that in a second. Let's go ahead and put in the rest of these. So we're going to put door frames in here. Like that. One there. We can put one in there. And then this is sort of going to be the rest. Oh, let's go and uh, let's just, I'm going to show you guys because it will just be easier. So we're going to make it look like this. So we've got another slope uh, wall. So it slopes all the way up too. And then it kind of like squares off at the top there. So let's go back over to the build. Uh, so we're in this corner right here. Um, so we're going to put a wall in there just to cap that bit off. And then what we're going to do is put in our slope triangle if we get the right one in. So we've got that one. And then what we're going to do is square this one off. So we're going to put a wall, wall, uh, wall, 
wall and then a triangle piece on top of there. So that's how it should look. So you can go ahead now and then put in another sloped stone wall up there. We will in a second. We don't need to do it just yet, but we can go ahead and fill in the rest of the floor. Just make sure it all snaps in properly, like so. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So you should have something that looks like this from the outside. So from the front looking on, you should have looking like that. And then from the side, on this side, it should look like that. I might fix that up because that's actually snapped a different position. So let's get rid of that quick because that's snapped in differently. Okay, so it just looks like we need to just finish off the interior now. Uh, so we're in this section right here. All I'm going to do is I am just going to wall this off. So let's just put these walls in, make sure they get snapped correctly and then what i'm going to do is put in another ceiling just there so hopefully that matches um okay so i managed to get that one snapped in as well i had to remove the uh the stone pillars and i've actually made a mistake as well because on the opposite side these two pillars are actually only three high so they should only be three high guys so bear that in mind um, so we're going to put some walls on the back of the build just here. And then what we're going to do, this, because this is our balcony bit. And then obviously we come into a door and then we've got our bedroom. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just run over to the other build. So if we've got the stairs, come up the stairs, like I said, this is our balcony. And then so it's going to be a wall, door frame, wall. Okay, so that makes sense. So let's go back over to the new build um, up the stairs uh, so it was a wall uh, with the wood facing outwards door frame and then another wall so that's what it should be and then obviously I'm gonna have to go back over again uh, you have to bear with me guys because it's been a while it's like I said it's been a while so now I'm fucking stuck What's all that about? Come here, Mr. Bear. Alright, so let's go back inside. Just to double check that we are getting it right. Because I don't want to make any mistakes for you guys. Let's go inside. Okay, so there looks like it could be a wall. Okay. So from that wall, we're going to have to build two more walls. So let's go and do that. Okay, guys, so another error on my part. This back corner here should only be two walls high with a triangle piece on the top. Not actually uh, three walls high with a triangle piece on the top. Uh, so the two inner pillars as well uh, should only be three high. That is an error on my part. I do apologize, guys. Um, uh, but we need to put two walls in here now. So this just squares off the little bedroom area. Um... And then what we're going to need to do is put some triangle pieces there. And then another triangle piece there. So we need to start getting some of these roofs in. Uh, I have put one just here. Um, otherwise, we're going to start getting stuck. So let's put another one in there. And then another one in there. Should snap just like that. So that's what we should have there. And then if we start putting some more in here. So one there one there and we should be able to snap one in there as well like that so then that blocks off that little bit there so if we can get these in as well that would be pretty good is it going to let me put it in okay that one looks like it isn't going to let me put that one on at the moment so if we go for normal stone ceilings so let's put that on, make sure it's snapped properly. Yep. So we can go ahead and go all the way along at the back here. Like that. And then we should be able to put in... We need to take this wall out, actually, guys. Another error. So let's take out this wall right here. Oh. And then that should snap in now. So let's get rid of this pillar. So let's snap the 
stone sloped in like that. And then we'll put another wall here like that. So then this is our little bedroom area. So let's just see if we can uh, get on top of the roof and uh, have a look how we're doing. If we can jump up here. Yeah, let's jump up this one. So we need to put in that slope now. It's not going to let me. So let's get rid of this slope one. And then we should be able to snap that in like that. And then snap the other one in. There. Like that. Okay, so let's go and have a look over the other side. I think we are looking good. I think we are looking good, guys. So we need to put a wooden wall just there. So that finishes that bit off. And then obviously we need to start putting in the slope walls, uh, slope roofs, sorry. So let's see if we can get them all in without any problems. Uh, so that one should go there. That one should go there. If it's going to let me. Oh, why is it not going to snap in? There we go. There we go. Okay, so, and then should have one there. Oh, that one's not going to snap. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And then put that one in. Still not going to snap. He's still not going to snap for me. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't too sure what was going on there, but I managed to get it to snap in. Uh, so let's put some normal stone ones there and there. And then we should be able to snap these in just like normal. So we can get it. If we can get it lined up. Oh, we had it. We had it. It was green. There we go. And then last one. Can we get it in? Can we get it in? Yes. There we go. So this is what we should have. So let's just go and uh, go down here and have a look. Hopefully we've got everything. Oh, we've missed two. We've missed two. Let's get the. Uh, let's get these on here. So we've got one. And uh, two. So that should that should be it, guys. Let me just double check and we'll be straight back. Alright, guys, so we are just gonna finish off the rest of the build. So we're gonna put some doors in, uh, we're gonna put the railings on the top. So I've got some railings and some doors on me. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's put these on. This is like you can Keep your birds up here, I guess. This could be like your bird storage or, you know, whatever you want to keep up here. Uh, so let's go down. So let's uh, let's do the perimeter of the build. So let's put all these railings in. So all the railings are in. So we need to put in some wooden ramps. So we're going to put one there. And we're going to put some doors in as well, guys. So we'll put a door there. I'll put a door there. Uh, we're going to need a wooden ramp going here as well for our entrance. So let's go inside. So we're going to put... We've got the doors there. Let's put a door on here. And a door there. And obviously we're going to need another ramp. So bear in mind I have built it right next to the previous build. So there we go. So I think that is all the doors. Oh, apart from the one upstairs that we've forgotten. Just there. There we go. So, oh, railings, railings. We haven't put these ones in. There we go. I don't know why that didn't snap right. Snapping properly. Please just snapping properly. There we go. So everything is done, guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to fill it uh, because... You guys can just utilize this space for yourself. Uh, you can play around with the stairs. The stairs don't have to go that way at all. Uh, I just thought it looked really, really nice. And you know, you've got your little secret storage under here. Your little side entrances. I just thought it looked pretty cool, guys. Uh, so, like I said, I'm not going to fill it. Uh, but the build 
is done. It is complete. So up there you can put your birds, store your little birds up there. Pterodon, uh, Pteranodons and Argies uh, fit perfect in there. Um, so the build is done guys. If you've stuck around this far, thank you so much. And you've stuck around, you've you've bared with me. Uh, this is like the biggest build that I've ever actually done a tutorial for. Like in my Let's Play, I've just sort of built it. Cut back in, showing you the progress, built it, cut back in, etc, etc. So trying to sort of guide you step by step on how to build this has proven very, very difficult for me. And like I said, if you've stuck around this far, thank you so much. You guys are absolutely awesome. So it, can, it matches this one over here. So <laughs> we've got two identical houses side by side. Uh, the build is complete. I really hope you did enjoy, guys. Uh, I will end the video with a fly around so you guys can, uh, you know, see the, the whole exterior of the build. Uh, but I am going to leave it there. I am exhausted, guys. <laughs> uh, so it's been a long day. It has been a long day. Uh, the amount of times I've had to record this is unbelievable. Uh, but I'm not going to bore you with all of that. Um, so, yeah. The build is complete. I'm absolutely chuffed with it. Super, super happy. So guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. If you did go on to enjoy today's Building with Stevie, the uh, cliffside cabin, then don't forget to drop a like down below. It really does show support here on the channel, guys. And it really does show support for Building with Stevie. I'm brand new to the building scene on Arc. I say building scene, you know, building tutorials and all that kind of good stuff. So showing your support really does mean a lot on these videos, guys. And also, if you're new around here and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to be part of Team Hardcore so you never miss out on any more videos uploaded to my channel within the future. So guys, thank you for sticking around. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be sure to catch you all on the next episode. <laughs>